Hello and welcome in Boosty Machine Learning Models in Python from Pact. My name is Kuba Konchik and I've been programming since around 1995. And since around 2006, I started to build a commercial grade Python systems, a bit more complex than I've done before. And then my first experience with machine learning was when I was asked to build a model to predict real estate prices. And I did it in time, I had to do it really quickly. And, you know, I failed at that. And after a while, when I had more time, I decided to dive into it and actually do a deep research on machine learning, how to actually learn it correctly. And the results of that is, you know, a lot of insights that I've got. And I've decided to share those insights with other people. And this is the goal for all of the courses that I'm doing. So hopefully I'll help you in your machine learning journey as well. So let's talk about this course. This course is all about giving you a high-level overview and practical kind of insights into using the Ensemble algorithms. And we'll be starting with section one. In section one, we will be introducing the subject. So what's exactly Ensemble algorithm, why they are so popular and also useful. And we also start with creating a quick setup so we can move forward quickly with this course. So I will show you how to install everything really quickly. Also, I will be talking about the data set that we'll be using and why it's useful. Then in section two, we start with a quite popular family of algorithms called bagging algorithm, also called bootstrap aggregation. And here we are including algorithms like bag decision trees and random forests, which is quite popular. And we'll also get into a less popular, but also quite interesting algorithm calls called extra trees. Then in section three, we will dive into a bit more complex algorithm, which has a bit different profile, but it's also very, very popular. And we will talk about add a boost algorithm and also boosting machine, also called stochastic gradient boosting. And then next in section four, we will dive into a different family ensemble algorithms because here we be able to do voting and stacking and stacking and voting different kind of family of ensemble algorithms because we can use pretty much every algorithm out there in a group of those. And then in section five, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the, the actual boosting algorithms. And we'll talk about the highly optimized boost in implementation called XGBoost. And this is really what uh, some called a secret weapon of data science competitions or machine learning competitions. This is very popular argument. And, you know, in section five, I'll introduce you to XGBoost and how to use it and why it's important to actually learn more about it. Then we end with section six and in section six, will be focusing on tuning the key hyperparameters for XGBoost. So hyperparameters are basically arguments that we use to initialize our XGBoost classes to get better accuracy. So we'll end with that and let's talk about prerequisites. So assume that you have a work in Python 3 knowledge, we'll have a, um, all of the code is written in Python 3, also, you know, ability to run commands in shell, uh, this is not really heavily required, but some examples are in a written in Python and you can run it from terminal. Also, we'll be using Jupyter, so you can also use Jupyter if you know that, Jupyter Notebooks. And I will also cover this whole subject using Jupyter Notebook. I assume that you have some basic machine learning experience. I assume that you are beginner hopefully you know i was able to actually explain everything clearly for you but you know i assume some basic machine learning experience so that's it when it comes to prerequisites let's talk about course goals so my goal here is to give you a high level overview of the subject give you kind of a 50 foot look at ensemble algorithm and how to use them in practice and specifically, you know, what's really most important, I think, is that how to, um, you know, compare the results of different ensemble algorithms in practice with each other on a specific data set. So you can pick the best algorithm for your data set and for your problem. 
And also, you know, when we talk about specific algorithms, how to use XGBoost for classification specifically, and also how to optimize XGBoost on a very basic level by finding optimal values for key hyperparameters. So that's it. Hopefully we can start soon. So can't wait to see you in the course and good luck and see you there.